Hey, it's Dawn here. And in this video, I just want to share with you how you can add some uh, personalization into the bots that you're building and make it so that people can have a really great user experience as they're coming through. So let me explain to you uh, what I mean by this. So let me just kind of move this over here a little bit. So I've got my phone up at the moment. And as you can see, we've got a welcome message at the top. Uh, now, this is an image, I'm not gonna go into this today, but this is a nifty image that actually will pull up whoever's name it comes through. Uh, so obviously it says mine right now, but it would say anybody else's name. Now, as we scroll down, um, you will see at the bottom there, it says Dawn has a quick voice message for you. So the bot itself um, is, as you can see here, we have Ribbit and Ribbit is introducing uh, herself and explaining that it will be her that's taking care of people, um, explaining how many uh, spots we have available and then it says Dawn has a quick voice message for you. So let me just go and give you a quick example. I'm not going to play it all but as you can see here um, on the screen it's 54 seconds long and then it says tap below to find out more. So it just means that as soon as somebody comes in, they get that personal experience. And what I want you to think about this as you're kind of going through is what could you do for your business? What could you do for your clients? Now, just as a quick example, when I was working, uh, well, I'd still do, uh, when I work with uh, the dance franchise that we've got, um, we have the founder who actually comes on video and welcomes people. So when we built them um, an exhibition bot, for example, the founder couldn't be at this particular exhibition that day and she did a video and we uploaded that into the bot and it said hey I'm Claire really sorry that I can't be with you today I hope you're having a great time and again that just created a very different experience for people it just got people's emotions they could see the person behind the business which is a huge business but the fact that the founder has taken that time to give a personalized message um, really really does help and it improves um, the experience and also it builds it back no like and trust as well. So just think about this as we're going through this. Who could you use this for? What type of clients could you use this? Um, if people are like coaching clients, things like that, then absolutely get them to send you videos and do something so that you can build really amazing bots for people. So let me just give you a quick example for this one. I've kind of moved this over to the edge so we can't see um, this here for now but if we just play this message it's literally just me i'm not going to play it all but i'll give you an example let me just make sure i've got my volume turned up hopefully it'll play hey it's dawn here i just wanted to first of all say welcome and also thank you so much for coming through and finding out how i can help you on a one-to-one -one basis with your bot building skills, whether that's you being completely brand new or whether you've already built some bots, whether it's for clients or whether it's for your own business. I'm really, really excited. There we go. Won't go on too much. Um, so as you can see, that was a personal message uh, that I sent to help people. And I've had a few people comment and say, wow, it was really nice to hear your voice and all that kind of stuff. So it just builds up um, just a completely different level of a relationship. So think about how you can can do this with either your own bots or with um, any clients you've got really encourage your clients I mean sometimes it can be quite difficult um, asking clients to do things like this but help them to understand how this actually works whether you do a demo on your own and let them feel with their own emotions how did they feel when they went through and they could either hear your voice or see a video or something like that um, really help them to understand how it can actually work and how it will benefit them and help them if they're a little bit unsure what to do um, then just say look you know, we've got a great way for you to actually record your voice. And I'm going to show you that in a second uh, with what I did. So again, as we go along here, um, we've got the voice note there. Now, what you would need to do is now this was 54 seconds long. So as we scroll down, uh, we add and I'll show you how to do this in a second, but we add a delay because what you don't want to do then is have all your other messages interrupting the actual voice note itself. So as that comes through, I've done it at 45 seconds, um, even though it's 54, because that's kind of prompting people ready in their mind, knowing that um, they're going to have to tap to continue. 
when they tap to continue, uh, they get another message. And this message again here, um, they'll choose an option, whether they're an agency or whether it's for their own business. And as you can see here, we've got another voice note. So thanks for answering that question. Dawn has a new message for you. Now, what I did was, this is completely different. If you are an agency owner, you would get that message. If you chose business owner, you would get a different message. And what I would say in that is, hey, great to know that you're an agency owner, or hey, Thanks for answering that question. It's really nice to know that you're a business owner and you're looking for this for your own business and not because you're an agency. So what that does is it creates already like, oh, great. They've been segmented and I'm now giving them a very, very relevant voice message. So what I say to the agency owner would be different to the business owner because obviously it's two very different people that I'm speaking to. So think about how you can do this in your bots as well. Um, and again, because this one um, I think is just slightly over, I think it's about one minute. Uh, 30 something seconds. So again, what we would do here is you could only have a 60 minute delay. So as we actually put the delays in here, um, all I'm actually doing is putting a 60 one there and then a 35 second one there, bringing it in just slightly beforehand. So this message pops up. And I think I kind of made it where I said, click the button below. I think as soon as I said that, this message appears. So time and test these things out, make sure it everything's prompting and coming in by doing the previews so that you actually get it to a point where you go, right, okay, I'm really happy with that. It's, the message is dropping in right at the perfect time and all the rest of it. So let me just kind of show you, first of all, um, an app that I use. So I literally just do this on my mobile phone. Uh, I'm gonna show you this app. This is really good. It's a completely free version. You can upgrade it to, I think it's five pounds 99 a month, but you really don't need that. This is all I use. And as I actually open up this, um, let me go and find this for you uh, on my phone, just one second. And as I actually open this up, um, and let me just go back into this now, be able to see my phone. This is how it looks here. And if I'm going to hit record, I literally just start recording. So as you can see, this is now counting at the timer. All I would then do is I click on stop. I click and save as, and then in here, I would just, uh, I'm just gonna put the test, um, a test, so it just appears at the top, and I'm gonna save that. So all I would then do is, when I'm looking for uh, this, I would go and see if I can find it, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> a test, click into there. And then what you've got is at the top right hand corner, you've got the option to save. So all you would need to do is click on share and then you save it as an MP3. And you can literally save that wherever you like. I tend to save all my things into my, um, my Dropbox folder. So again, you could save it into there, choose where you want to load it to, and then just upload. And then when you go and try to find that, all you need to do is go to Dropbox. So you basically save that wherever you uh, prefer to save all your tools. And I'll just click back on that again. So it's called Voice Recorder and Audio Editor. And that's the image that you're looking for. Uh, there are other ones out there, but I personally just think this is a really, really good one. So let me just move back over here now. So how did we do this? So let's just start with a brand new flow. And the way that I would do this is, obviously I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna build everything out in here because I don't want this to be too lengthy. This is all about you really understanding um, how just adding a, an mp3 um, is going to add a little bit more um, of an interesting and um, I guess memorable journey for people as they're going through your bot so first of all you would click on here send a message and this is how we get our box uh, a lot of people watching this probably know this already but for those who don't I just thought I'd share that so that's how we get our text box when we actually go into here all you're going to do is you are going to choose the audio and then click into audio and go and find uh, the audio that you want. So I'm going to choose this one here, which is the shorter one. And as you can see here, um, it shows I, I've already. So when you're naming things as well, this is really important. So I just had a test there. When you're actually naming things, just be sure that you know what the actual, um, you know, what you're about to upload, because what you don't want to do is have maybe three or four messages and then you put the wrong one in the wrong place. Also, just by putting the time on there, it saves you having to open it up again. You can look and think, all right, okay, I know this is 54 seconds. So in that instance, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put a delay here and I'm going to put this for maybe 52 seconds. And we know that we've got our nice delay there. And this is where you would put your next message below. 
and that is it. So I'm just going to put test up there. Test for uh, voice message. And what I love about this is when you actually are sent a voice message, and I'll go back into my um, my phone in a second. Um, it actually lets you lets people know that they, they're about to receive a voice message. So let me just do a quick preview on this. Obviously, we'd have tags and, and everything else in here, but I'm just literally going to show you this as a quick demo. So as we look here um, on my phone, I'm going to keep it on this screen right now because you can see at the top, we've got test for voice message. Now look there, sent a voice message. So what that actually shows is when people are coming through, they know already that they're actually getting a voice message. Um, so let me just go back and go into that voice message. So as you can see here, oops, let me bring my phone up again. As you can see at the bottom, we've got the test and then we can just simply play that button there. I don't think it'll play. Uh, the voice doesn't come out when I do it on my phone. But that's the message that's come in. And as you can see, um, we get the delay bubble. So they know eventually something else is going to come, but it allows them to uh, obviously go through your message itself. So that is as simple as it is. Do test this out. Like, like I've shown you there, it's very simple to do. All you've done is when you're recording this, and it depends, you could record it maybe um, on a tool on your computer or whether you do it on your phone and you send it over um, as an MP3. You could even do it on your, um, I think there's the native one that you've got within iPhone or something like that. But anyway, do test this out. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this and just make it so that you're not just making a boring bot. You're actually making it so that people can really enjoy what it is that you're doing and get a really good vibe for your business, for your brand. And I would really encourage you to um, to get your clients as well to send your voice notes and videos and anything else that you would wish to do with this as well. So take care. Any uh, questions, then drop them in the comments below.